Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Triple melee topside. We haven't seen Maokai for yeah. a long time. Yeah. We saw him playing, so we saw it a little bit in groups, and then he just fell off. Sprouts his head. Ooh, Barrel goes in aggressively, but the flash isn't going to get him a lot. Now he and Deft have to back away. Ooh. Gumiyushi goes for the Pierce. Carry able to flash forward now, too. Barrel's at 200 HP. Barrel tries to get away. Deft is at 100. Carry as low. Deft is going to proc the bailout. Will he get the damage? No, it's first blood over the carry. Guma and carry. Top as the dragon goes down for T1. That was a critical heal. Zeus got the fleet footwork heal off of tapping Pioshik, so able to sustain under his tower, and now the bottom side with Owner. Owner's ready to go. Deft is the target. They're ready to try to fight back, but DRX are 2v3. Kumayushi oh. will not fall, and DRX will lose their AD carry for the second. Yes, he's enchanted by the brush, but he can't catch up in time. So T1, they get what they came for and they get back out. Now Zeus, ready to issue a fight onto King and here with a grand challenge. Pioshik's showing up to try to help him. They're gonna try to turn it around right back onto Owner. He's low, but Carry is here to make the difference. However, DRX will outplay. Kingan still looking to keep the fight going a little bit further, but he's going to be careful. He'll look for Karia. Q2 lands. Where's Q3? Flash coming out from Karia to stay alive. Kingan is playing. Remember, it's Zeus who picked it up, so it's not like Owner can walk this thing around anywhere on the map. As Barrel goes into the hostile takeover, oh. it hits both as Gumiyushi could now be in some trouble. Death trying to fire in a little bit more damage as the 2v1 dive goes out top. Zeus barely staying alive, but there's the kill. Piyoshi gets away with a flash. T1 starting to drag it all the meanwhile. It's a 4v4. Really nicely done from Kingan, but now what about the team fight here in the bottom lane? They're going in. They found a lot of damage, but they won't find the kill oh. just yet. Now Gumiyushi's going to be popped, and Barrel is not traded back. Zeka taking some damage. Faker trying to go in and find his way through the smoke. Now he's going to run. He's trying he's to get out, but Twisted Advance will find him, and DRX will win across the rift. They're doing it! The perennial! They have information. Soraka ult is up soon as well. Faker not there just yet, but it's level 11. Odors in the pits. T1 bot lane. Now on the way up. Zeka here for a timer to take this fight. T1's ready to challenge. Faker is here. Objective at 2k. Faker's going in. Smoke is ready. Zeka getting himself back. Owner's taken low. They're ready to keep the fight going. Kingan charges forward, but now Zeus is looking for Pioche. The killing spree for the jungler of DRX. Where's the follow-up? T1 trying to stay together. Hostile takeover finds Faker. T1 are corralled in the back of the pit, and it's DRX executing. Taking care of the turret as well. The only king in that fight was King, and he did so much work to get T1 that open from one fight. Even just being here in finals, DRX are already the greatest underdog story, the greatest Cinderella story of world. Now grabbing their second Drake of the game. A mountain Drake at that will be the slice. Checking in on the top lane, it's still a lead for Kingan, still 1-0-3 here on the Aatrox, as Zekka retreats away from Faker here bottom side. Ultimate Faker use. trying to chase after him here, uses R1, TP. finds the E, but now a TP is coming in. Now the ulti's coming over from Maokai. Now DRX have found Faker, the smoke will not save him, and DRX. DRX are collapsing. They're, They're not even going to get the mid tower for T1. Gumiyushi running away there, throwing the spear out, getting himself to work with. Karius trying his best to help out. No Kalista, it's a smite fight. It's time to overcome the demons of game three for DRX. Maokai ulti flies out. Kingan in World Ender goes over the wall. Faker's lost half HP. Faker is nearly down. Hostile takeover over the wall. Wish from Soraka will heal the mid laner, but Maokai says no. DRX ready to fight back again as Zeus is going to be shuffled away. T1 tries to find the fight and they're finally going to kill Zeph, but Kingan's still ready to fight over the side. Zeka getting chased. Barrel trying to protect. A beautiful handshake from Renata as Karia falls. T1, 2v3. Barrel may be the target, but Gumayushi is locked down. Gumayushi is executed by the sword of Kingan, and Owner is the Kingen lands the Q2, Q3 pull back onto Faker, then gets the auto attack in, I believe, as he dashes out. Piosik follows through across the wall to get the kill. So it's a 2v1. Into the tri brush, locks him up. And it's that twisted advance. It's that lockdown on these mobile carries that we talked about in draft. They haven't pushed in midwave, but Zeus will have to TP in. It's time to go. 
Objective bounty claimed, and now Zeus is ready to join the fight. Baron at half HP. Owner's trying to find his way in there. The Arctic assaults over the wall. Him away. But it could only be Owner that they need. He flash. did a miracle last time. Kingen wants again. to stop him this time. Baron at 3K. Owner goes berserk. He's locked down. The Baron for DRX. They did it. They kept him out this right time. Behind him. They're committing so many numbers down here to try to find something before the waves start to crash onto their towers. Zeus will get an objective bounty top tier one. It may already be too late. The cannon minion's still alive. The cannon minion's still firing. The cannon minion kills the tier three turret. Zeus, in the meantime, is still top. He's taking out the tier two. DRX, they're going for broke. They're going for anything they can find. The second Check inhibitor out. turret's gonna be the target. Faker is now the target. They're trying to push all the way in. Owner's on full retreat. Zeus finally making his recall back into the base. DRX, five-man push, still looking for Nexus turrets. Gumayushi's gonna be caught. Kingen looks for him, but the Galista's able to get away. Zeus wants to jump in. Zekka's still safe. DRX now Faker. having to deal with Faker. He jumps in. He jumps out. There's no angle. DRX, they'll find the first Nexus turret. Owner charges away. DRX have health advantage. They have stats advantage. They have gold advantage. The turrets are dropping. Zeus is on the flank, but it won't do a thing. Kingen's wings spread wide, and DRX looks to keep going. The relentless pressure here. They've still got two cannon minions. Zekka chasing off Zeus, and Barrel comes to join. Zeus is low. He's trying to get himself away. The turret's still barely standing. Carrya now going to be your target. Kingen chasing him away. Gumayushi goes in. It won't matter. They're done. That's it. DRX are taking us to game five. One game to decide it all. Faker and Death combined have played over 2,000 games. And it's going to come down to one.